I got the idea for this song. I guess uh, somebody was telling me at a party once a couple of years back. I don't know how we got around to this conversation, but somebody started telling me that there was all these missing years in the life of Jesus. He was missing from the time he was 12 until he, he was 30. And I said, you mean uh, like nobody knew where he was? And he said, nobody. So that kind of like stuck in the back of my mind, you know, about nobody. One of the most influential and controversial figures in the history of mankind. And nobody knows where he was for 18 years. I snuck away on a fishing trip once with this waitress. For a couple of days, and by the time we got back to Nashville, everybody knew where we were. Jesus, the missing years. It was raining, it was cold. West Bethlehem was no place for a 12 year old. So he packed his bag and he headed out to find out what the world's about. He went to France, he went to Spain. He found love, he found pain. He found stores, so he started to shop. But he had no money, so he got in trouble with a cop. Kids in trouble with the cops from Israel didn't have no home. So he cut his hair and he moved to Rome. It was there he met his Irish bride. And they rented a flat on the Lower East Side of Rome. Italy, that is. Music publishers, book binders, Bible belters, money changers, spoon benders, and lots of pretty Italian chicks. Charlie bought some popcorn. Billy bought a car. Someone almost bought the farm, but they didn't go that far. And things shut down at midnight. At least round here they do. Cause we all reside down the block inside at 23 Skidoo. Wine was flowing, so were beers. So Jesus found his missing years. He went to a dance and said, this don't move me. So he hacked up his pants and he went to a movie. On his 13th birthday, he saw Rebel Without a Cause. He went straight on home and invented Santa Claus gave him a gift and he responded in kind he gave the gift of love and went out of his mind you see uh, him and the wife wasn't getting along so he took out his guitar and he wrote a song called the dove of love fell off the perch but he couldn't get divorced from the catholic church at least not back then anyhow Jesus was a good guy he didn't need this shit. So he took a pill with a bag of peanuts and a Coca-Cola and he swallowed it. He discovered the Beatles. He recorded with the Stones. Once he even opened up a three-way package in Southern California for old George Jones. And Charlie bought some popcorn. And Billy bought a car. Someone almost bought the farm, but they didn't go that far. And things shut down at midnight, at least round here they do. Cause we all reside down the block inside of 23 Skidoo. The years went by like sweet little days, with babies crying pork chops and Beaujolais. When he woke up, he was 17. The world was angry. The world was mean. Why, the man down the street and the kid on the stoop all agreed to life stank. All the world smell like poop. Baby poop, that is. The worst kind. So he grew his hair long and threw away his comb, headed back to Jerusalem to find mom and dad and home. But when he got there, the cupboard was bare, except for an old black man with a fishing rod. He said, what are you going to be when you grow up? Jesus said, God. 
Mm. Oh, my God, what have I got myself into? I'm a human corkscrew. All my wine is blood. They're going to kill me, Mama. They don't like me, bud. So Jesus went to heaven. He went there awful quick. All them people killed him. And he wasn't even sick. So come and gather around me. My contemporary peers. And I'll tell you all the story of Jesus. The missing years. Charlie bought some popcorn. And Billy bought a car. Someone almost bought the farm. But they didn't go that far. And things shut down at midnight. At least around here they do. Cause we all reside down the block inside at 23 Skidoo. We all reside down the block inside at 23 Skidoo. Thank you.